Okay guys, so I'm back home. Jonathan didn't want to vlog, so like I tell you guys, I have an order for the seafood boil. So this is the the um, white shrimp, and this is the tail part. They didn't want the part with the head. And then there's an pre cook, and we have crab tail, crab legs. I mean, and then we have some lobster tail over here. So I'm gonna make a seafood boil. I didn't get to clean up. Look, we got to take out garbage. I still didn't get to clean up. This is some of this stuff. That's Jonathan over there. Jonathan, you know what you're going to do now? Yeah. You're going to pack up your stuff for me. Right? Mm -hmm. And those two sweaters are mine. We're going to take them up. The living room is not that bad. And I am I going to make a seafood boil. But for now, I want you to go take off your clothes. Can I hold the camera? When you take off your clothes and change into your regular clothes, then you can hold the camera, okay? Okay. So for now, I'm going to get those ready because like he's coming to pick up his seafood boil in the next couple of hours. So journey to my seafood boil, guys. Okay, guys. So it's the next day. I didn't get to do much vlog with Jonathan. So the other vlog is going to come over and this other vlog. No, Dre down. Uh, Jonathan went home. Um, I am home. And... Um, my face is breaking out more the mask it's actually like my face is on fire so um i have some color mine lotion on my face because it's tender to the touch right now whoops i'm not going in close sorry it's tender to the touch and um i have a, a headache i just i need to just drop me off home we were on the road together and um it's raining, so I didn't bring the camera out. Outside is very, very bleaky today. So I need to just drop me home because I had to go and pick up um, some stuff um, to make my juice. And I'm going by the hospital tonight to to get an MRI on um, my right knee, which is, I can show you guys, which is this knee that I had an accident on it years ago. And so every winter time this knee act, act up on me, so it's been acting up. Um, I just came home and uh, your girl did not get to do any laundry from the other day. So my laundry is like this high. Um, I had Jonathan over and um, after yesterday he left in the... Sorry, the doctor keep telling me and not to touch my face. So... Um, yeah, Jonathan went home yesterday evening and I just, I was just home by myself, just in my feelings, you know, do a little bit of talking to Aunt Anita and um, my oldest son was supposed to come and spend a couple of days, but my body's not up to walking around and doing the cleanup stuff, so put off until the next two days. Oh, um, and I'm going by the hospital tonight, like I tell you guys, to do that MRI um for what time is it now it's 3 25. i have to be at the hospital like for 7 45 because they said it's 8 30 but they said i have to come a little bit early and so toronto um is on a 28 day lockdown again because nobody wants to listen and people still not listening there's people they're still protesting that they don't want to wear the mask um, there's this guy that was on Instagram. I think he was a personal trainer or something like that And he was saying that coronavirus is not real, but I don't know if you have any underlying illness or borderline illness or whatever But he died at the age of 33 and that is so sad. So sad um, What else I need to talk to again? About? Oh, yes. Yeah, so this morning at work um, A few guys were talking about Dalton What's his name again? Dalton Harrison or Dal Dalton, that guy, that Jamaican guy that he can really sing. So everybody's talking about he comes out and um, saying that he's pansexual. I didn't know that word until I heard that. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's his business. Um, and I think um, people life in their bedroom should not be of concern to other people. He's a grown man and... It's his life, period. Like, he can have um, in his bedroom whoever he wants, whatever he wants. As long as it's not animal or creatures, then that's okay. <laughs> but um, that's his business. 
Um, I don't think um, touching the face. I don't think that should be people's. There's too much serious thing going on out in the world for people to be wonder, worried about other people's sex life. Come on, that's his business. That's his sex life. If he wants to be, then that's his. If he's gay, it's okay. That's his business. If he's whatever, pansexual, that's his business. It's not yours. It's not mine's. Don't judge. You're not God. Let God do the judgment. Um, so, way to go. Very wonderful vice. Very um, wonderful young man. Um, and um, what else again, guys? Yeah, so I noticed that if you guys notice, I'm always having Dre. When your children them say they want pet. Make it be a teddy bear now, please. Because I had a huge fish tank was over there before I put that chair right there. It was a huge fish tank right there where Dre chair is, guys. Right over there. Right there. My kids, they tell me they want fish. I bought them fish tank, expensive fish, and I used stuff to clean. Hold on, snow. Yeah. Yes. Not really. I'm home. Yes. I've Yeah, I have to go. I have to go to the hospital later on for MRI. For um, hold on. Let me turn off the camera. Okay, journey family. That's no. Let me turn off the camera. Okay, journey family. So, yep. Um, I some stuff I need to pop out. I went and I got my Jamaican Simon and my Jamaican Skelly, and I don't like the one that they use here. In Canada, the one they call green onion, unless I'm making salad because it's too soft and it doesn't carry that nice smell and give it the flavor that this one does. So, yeah, and I always buy just a little bit of this one because I, I use it when I'm cooking on a regular basis. Like that is just like probably for two big season up. Please, doggy, eat your food. I'm stuck up with water, guys. I'm afraid to show you my laundry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at my laundry, guys, from there to there. It's piling up. My oldest son is coming. So he's going to help me to to do um the thing. And, of course, you know, I'm excited and I'm frightened. So I bought both two of this. And the Benjamin one from Jamaica. So one is going to go to my stay here. And one is going to stay at um my son's um girlfriend house with um her family. So, yep. So one is going to be here for now and one is going to be there. That's um, the grape water. And I did order like um, this. Um, it's an oil like um, for the baby. When the baby born if they have difficulty pooing. And I got to get ready. Two more, two and a half more weeks to go guys. Two and a half more weeks to go. And I'm going to come right in here and I'm done. And I'm going to lie down. Yes. So my candle there last night. I have light up my candle. Yep. So I am ready for that. And then when my my oldest son come, um, laundry. But I don't know about today with the laundry. Maybe tomorrow in the morning. I think I'm going to have to call in to work. I'm calling sick and they don't like that. Because your girl is not feeling 100%. So I am going to really um end this vlog so because we're home and there's nothing much today today is like a monday bleaky day i feel bleaky and like i say jonathan went home um because he had to go to school so no trick-or-treat is going to be here in toronto this year right that's what they're saying a lot of people is disputing over it and saying that you know should have trick-or-treat but I don't think so. Honestly, I don't think they should have um, chicka cheat for the kids in this year. Uh, me and Anita was just on the phone talking about my son, my oldest son. Years ago, somebody gave him give my son an eye from the cow. And how we know that it was an eye from the cow, there was this guy that we were friends with him and we live on the same, we live on the same floor. And he was the one who we called and he come over because I thought it was a human eye. And he said it was like from the cow. 
So we took it to the back of the yard and we buried. We didn't bother call the police because the next day we were going to um we were going to um New York um the next day. And um I didn't have no time for go give no no whatever, no statement, not this, no that or whatever. And um ever since then, like the kids that didn't want them to go to Chica Treat after that one incident. It's like I don't really do the chick or treat with my kids then. Um, I know one of the time like when I was at work like the kids they were with my friends downtown and they they go chick or treat and you have to search the candy still guys when they go chick or treat you have to search the candy because that's how we found that big cow eye that night huge cow eye that they give to my son for chick or treat so yeah and we bury it at the back at Oakwood and Rogers where we used to live. We buried it around there and I just dig it up and put another five paper and bury it. Um, yeah, because we were going to Buffalo. Um, yeah, my Buffalo was going to New York and nobody have time to be talking to police at the time. So, yep. Yeah, so, I'm going to go and lie down. It's four o'clock, so I have like three hours to catch a little bit of sleep. And I have some color mine lotion on my face, like I said before, because it was sore to the touch. Um, so I clean off my face with some vinegar and then I put the color of my lotion and it's a little bit, feel a little bit better now because it was so tender to the touch but now feeling much better because the skin is breaking down. And there we have Dre over there sleeping, won't eat his food because he wants me to give him TRA3, TRA3. So guys, I know this is going to be a boring little video vlog, but it's just something to let you guys know what's up. And um, the next video I'm going to do, I promise you guys, it's going to be lady lit. So until next time, peace out. Yeah.